Hello! Today's video is on Biology Form 5 KSSM 2.3 Main Organ for Transpiration. The content standard for today's lesson is on 17.3 Main Organ for Transpiration. The learning standard 17.3.1 Justify the necessity of transpiration in plants. 17.3.2 Describe environmental factors that affect transpiration rate that is light intensity, temperature, air movement and relative air humidity. Transpiration What is transpiration? Well, transpiration is a process of water loss in the form of water vapor through evaporation from the plants to the atmosphere. Now, we look at the path of the water movement in the plants. Okay, the red arrow here indicate the water movement. So, it started from the soil. Okay, where the root will absorb the water and also mineral salt from the soil. Okay, and then the water and the mineral salt will move along the xylem, okay, upwards, okay, in the plant stem. From the stem, the leaf wind will transport the water to the leaves, right, and at the leaves. The water will then evaporate to the atmosphere through the stoma. Now, why is this process important in plant? First, water is able to absorb heat energy from the leaves and evaporate as the water vapor. So, this will give the cooling effect to the plant. Second, the movement of water up to the evaporation Okay, this will produce a pulling force that move the water and mineral salt continuously in the xylem vessel start from the root up to the plant cell in the leaves. Now, we look at the environmental factors that affect the rate of transpiration. Okay, the first environmental factor that we are going to see is in this graph that is on light intensity. So from the graph, we can see as the light intensity increases, the rate of transpiration also increases. Until it reaches to a point where the rate of transpiration becomes constant even though light intensity increases. At that point, at that level, Okay, the relative humidity, temperature and air movement will become the limiting factor. Okay. Now, we look at the second graph. That is how temperature will affect the rate of transpiration. So, from the graph here, we can see as temperature increases, the rate of transpiration also increases. Why? Because when the temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the water molecules also increases. The next environmental factor that we are going to see is relative air humidity. Okay, factor number three. Number three, okay? Alright. Uh, from the graph here, we can see when the relative air air humidity increases, the transpiration rate actually decreases. Okay, you can see going down. The graph is going down. Okay, why? Because when the relative air humidity increases at the atmosphere, the water evaporate from the stoma will become slower. Okay, so when the water evaporate becomes slower, meaning the transpiration rate decreases. Right, the next one we are going to see the last factor that is on the uh, speed of the wind. How speed of the wind affect the transpiration rate. Right, from the graph we can see as the wind speed increases, 
the transpiration rate will also increase. Why? Because there are more air at the surrounding that can carry away the water molecules that have been evaporated from the lips, that have been come out from the lips. Questions time. Okay, question number one. State the relationship between transpiration and stomata. So we need to know the meaning of transpiration before we can relate it to stomata. Okay, suggested answers would be transpiration is a process of water loss in the form of water vapor. Where does it occur? 90% of it occur at the stomata pores of the leaves through evaporation process. Okay, question number two. Okay, we look at the questions number two. Okay, the picture down here, this picture. Right? The picture shows a plant leaves that were covered with mud after flood was subsided. Explain how this condition affects the rate of transpiration for this plant. Of course, it will affect the plant. Why? Because, okay, look at the answers. When the leaves is covered with the mud, actually the stomata pores are covered with the mud. So, the water loss through the stomata pores will be less. When the water loss at the stomata pores lesser, it means that the transpiration rate will decrease. Okay, I hope you understand this topic. You have understand this topic well. Okay. Thank you for listening. So, if you want to watch more biology videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Until then, bye bye.